Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again, back for another Saturday Showcase. And this time I got texts that are made by a fellow techologist, goes by the name of Zed. And I'm one of the smaller tech is GSO Core Flat Top and Mark 1, I figure the MK stands for, and the second being Zed Mark 1. So these are some bigger techs, they're kind of Geo Core specialties that they look like. They have a mix of everything in them, I think. But we're going to find that out. So, let's get into this one. First by me saying thanks for joining me. I hope you feel welcome and have some fun. Enjoy the videos while we're kind of playing around with them. And, you know, if you don't, let me know why. Feedback, guys. Hit those comments if you like them. If you don't like them, tell me what's going on. Even if it's just, hey, how's it going? Or, hello. You know, I'd love to hear from you. And if you do like what you're seeing, throw that like down there. Make that little thumb turn blue. And if you really haven't yet, which I hope is not the case, but maybe subscribe and ding that little bell so you get all the notifications when I got a new video that you hopefully will be interested in. And from there, don't forget, these showcase videos, these are for all the texts that you guys make. These are ones that I fit that, uh fellow techologists have made, submitted their in-game snapshots or save games to my thread, that are, yeah, through the link in the descriptions to the thread I started on the TerraTech forum. If you got any instructions that go with them, you know, post it there. If you don't want your name said, post, tell me there. Just post on that thread and I can make videos for you and we'll share our texts and our ideas and we'll hopefully have a lot of fun doing it. So I think it's right around now is a good time to get into it. So let's see how we make it. Well, the first tech we have here today, this one's called Flat Top. And it's mostly GeoCore with a little bit of GSO thrown in there just to kind of keep her extra functional and shooty-like. And uh, I thought this is what I saw. Two layers of megatons. I like the way this guy thinks. Or person. I'm not sure. Might be a girl. Or a lady. But yeah, right in there, look at all them big old batteries. They just need a good charging. Oh, digging around, kind of just checking how, how the center is here. We'll see what we can find. And oh, ooh. well, I guess the cab was on that one. So now we know. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Well, we'll get this cleaned up here real quick. We'll get on to maybe trying that again. Oh, just plop down that over there. Clean up the mess. Already got my store, there's my new one. Alright. Gotta love these infinitely creative saves. Alright, let's try that again. Let's kind of look around here a little bit slower and maybe don't tear nothing apart. We know what's inside now. But I really like the use of the saws tucked in there nicely. I, I, that's just a nice little touch. I, I do like that one. Ooh, we've got some hover pads under here to maybe take a little weight off. Three different types of wheels. Always like the variety. It's always neat when people use more than just the one. Lots of shields. I'm kind of thinking, I'm, I got an idea for this. It's kind of neat. And look at that, that's some firepower, eh? That thing would do some damage. And we are going to find out. Just got to do my little run through here. I kind of want to see what it does and how it acts. We'll play around with it a bit. And as I said, we'll get into a battle. So these guys, they seem about a good size to start with. I don't want to start nothing too big. With two big enemies all up to start. We gotta see how it fares. And as you can tell there, I got it all charged up. That took quite a bit. <laughs> I had to make a little charging station and give her some time. Now if I could only turn off the night cycle, this would be a lot quicker. Yeah, I kinda just whooping on them, eh? Those megatons that work. Ah. Oh. Thing of beauty. Thing of beauty. Now, I ain't really too worried about the prize. But here, check this out. Even makes it up a hill like that. Now, the question is, will I tip and roll right over on the other side? And I'm going to try to. See the first little hump here? Watch this. Reverse. No. She slid just enough where it wouldn't flip over. So, right on. Victory shot for you, buddy. Oh, I missed you. That's horrible. My aim is just so inaccurate. Now look at these frickin' guys. I just zoom right over there. Now I got a bad feeling about this. I didn't charge my battery. Probably shoulda. I 
I'm not sure if this is going to go well or not, but we're going to give her a try. Two big guys. Oh, there's a third dude back there. And then that other little part to show. Oh, whoa, bully you, you punk. Take a little ride. Yeah, one good thing these shields are <laughs> meant for, I guess. Bouncing big guys around. Getting them all messed up. Yeah, I got one of them. Oh, the shield situation, though. Yeah, a little extra battery power would have been nice here. I'm going to try and get a little crafty with my driving. And maybe I can keep moving. And Oh, that's just perfect. <laughs> An invader. Okay, I'm pretty sure I ain't going to lose, but I'm going to throw some damage on these. Yet. Or I am not going to win, and I am going to lose. But I'm going to... Oh, ow. I am going to throw as much damage on those guys as I can. And that's about enough. So anyway, we got there. We got our invader here. I ain't giving up. I'm not even going to charge. I'm just going to see what I can do to these guys and hope for the best. For this guy, he's my main priority. Invade me, will ya? Oh, I tell ya, that ain't going to be dead for. I'm going to throw a little bit of a hurting on you. And of course, you know, circle circle doing the dance. No, keep going. Do, 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 do. Ah, getting ya. Oh, got into the tender spot. Ha ha. I make your pop like the balloon. Take that. Alright, now these big fellas. They're probably gonna wipe me out a few times. But that's alright. I'm not even gonna charge this guy up. I'm just gonna go back and start. Hey, why aren't they firing? Well, that's not really any challenge. I was expecting to get beat up at least five times doing this. Right, I'll pick on you a little bit. You want to sit there and play silly? I'm not going to waste my time doing it, though. I just hit the fast forward button when I play, right? And then just go... And then zip right along. You know what? <coughs> I'm not too sure if this is going to go well for him. Because I'm getting a little bored of this fire in that legs. So I think what I'm going to do... I might call in a little bit of backup. Let's see how they've managed with my buddy. And this is the second tech for this showcase. He's a little bigger. A few extra guns compared to the first guy. He's a boxy fella. And I kind of got this feeling he ain't going to be very good on anything but the salt flats or in the R&D. Nice flat ground. But as I said, he didn't handle, he handled that guy pretty quick. So right on. So I'm going to get the next little round set up here, and I'll be back in just a second. Well, while I was setting up, uh, my next little bit kind of found me. So I figured I better blow these guys up. They're going to spawn in close like that. So I'm going to give them a heck of a good try anyway. There's three of them and a lot of megatons, so they I don't know. They might be able to do some damage on me. All well, depends how close they get. And so far, they're kind of being stupid. <laughs> I think they're stuck on blocks or something. You know, I got one of them. Let's see if I can get this one. I'm almost scared to look at the front, though. I got a feeling it's taking quite a beating. I tried charging this tech up, but I think it just covers the cab and the AI. Ooh. Put a big old smile looking hole in the front of this. Now, well, since it's open, let's see what's in here. See if we can find the cab. Well, lots of blocks and batteries and megatons and well, some armor in there. He's got a plan. Uh, I think I found something. Oh, there's the AI. Gotta be gentle here. Uh huh. The AI is a gun. Oh, there's the cab. I found it. And we make it fall apart. Well, it looks like I need a new one, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So back in a second. Well, I thought this would be a pretty good way to get the tech back into into play. Kind of a neat little thing to watch, I think. I get a kick out of it. Yep. And there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, as you can see, the, the big guy, he has a little bit of a disadvantage against these small guys. If they can get right in close to him, he's at their mercy, kind of. He has to back up, drive away. Right here. I can barely even touch that guy. Oh, he's messed up. He backed up. His mistake. Take that, a little punk. As far as that feller. I 
think I can get him. Oh, he's coming into me. Oh, you're coming, buddy. You're going down. I'll give him some, uh, I'll give him a B for bravery, though. So this guy, I wanted to see how they both work together. So I got that guy following me with the AI, and as you can see, he ain't doing so good. It's like he's scared of the gas pedal. Or he's having a seizure. One of the two. Anyway, I kind of had this guy all just stop here. He doesn't have any guns on him. I don't know why he ain't shooting. I'll just kind of lure him. Oh, yeah, got to lead him right to him. Then he'll take over. Oh, he made a short work of him when he started. Well, that's not too shabby. I'll take this guy here just for good measure. So a little bit of a last look at this big guy, Zed Mark One. Get him doing some shooting here. He did the walk around with the other one. I almost read two of this one. I would have had to been ashamed of myself. Like, that looks pretty firing like that. So that's what that beast brings to the table. I like the added touch with the rain down fire. And it's kind of a little bit of a recap here. Here, I'll bring the both techs back side by side. The big one, that was Zed MK1, or Zed Mark 1, and the little guy is Flat Top Mark 1, or GSO Core Flat Top Mark 1. Both these texts were provided to me for the Saturday Showcase by Zed, a fellow techologist, and I'd say he did a pretty good job. Those things would defend a base like nuts. So the right around here is about the time where I'm going to call this one at an end. So if you did happen to like what you saw, throw the like down below, make the little thumb glow. Hey, <laughs> it rhymes. And if you do, and you happen to have a really cool reason, or you didn't like it, and you know you got a reason for that too, you know, throw them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. That feedback it helps me out more than you know, and it is appreciated. Like I, I try to thank you at least once or twice every video, and I'm gonna do it right now. Thank you, just because that's how much it does help. And if you haven't already, throw a subscription down there, then you'll get all the latest videos I have to offer as I get to offering them. And if you ding the bell, you'll even get some notifications. That way you'll have something extra to let you know. And if you like the idea of the Saturday Showcase, and if you have a cool and original tech, throw your in-game snapshot or your save game on the, I got a link down in the description for the Saturday or Saturday Showcase Auditions. Follow the link, post your in-game snapshots or save games on the thread I started on the official Terror Tech forums, and I will make the best video I can out of them. Kind of like this one. So until next time, everybody, I think that was everything I was looking to say. <laughs> Except this. Keep being awesome, and keep having a good one. Bye. <laughs>